You're listening to Three Kitchens Podcast, a member of the Alberta Podcast Network, locally grown, community supported. Now let's get cooking. This episode of Three Kitchens is brought to you by Alberta Blue Cross. Alberta Blue Cross understands that running a small business is tough, and they understand business owners in Alberta are busy. Let Alberta Blue Cross give you peace of mind with a group benefit plan. They offer health, dental, life, and disability coverage for your employees. Alberta Blue Cross group benefit plans are easy to manage anywhere, anytime, and on any device, making it easy for you and your employees to access. To learn more and explore your options, head to ab.bluecross.ca. Hello, listeners. Welcome to a really fun episode today at Three Kitchens Podcast. I am your host, Sarah Somasundaram, and I am here with Aaron Walker and Heather Dyer. Hello. Good Hello. morning. How was that for Pep? <laughs> hey, you are excited this morning, Sarah. Pretty I'm good. excited this morning because I've got some two really good recipes <gasps> to share. Two. Two. Excellent. Mm. And Sarah doesn't, she likes to keep it like a secret before we Mm -hmm. get here. Whereas often Aaron and I are like, I think I'm going to make this. I think I'm going to make that. What are you going to make? And we we have all these conversations and Sarah just keeps it to herself. And we try to ask Sarah and she's all, well, you'll find out when we record. (laughs) (laughs) How's it going? How are things? How's the week going? It's going well. Busy. 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 (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Aaron says with a happy voice it's going well and Heather doesn't even smile I'm not sugarcoating it <laughs> it's been flat out and it's only Wednesday morning and I feel it like is. I've lived two weeks already in the last uh-huh. two days yeah uh-huh. busy maybe I've just had too much coffee this morning that helps you sound quite relaxed though for all the <laughs> coffee well you know part of the problem is that the reason you have to drink so many cups of coffee I, I figured this out about you Aaron mm. is because you it's mostly cream your your coffee <laughs> is like so much cream with a little okay. splash of coffee in there is that right okay you've seen so her photos she posts first, a photo like okay oh, coffee for breakfast outside or whatever in the summer and it's like almost white okay <laughs> okay that's not fair to throw me under the bus for that that is a new <laughs> I am going to defend myself now after this accusation. Um, (laughs) There's nothing (laughs) wrong with it. (laughs) So I don't don't like that much cream in my coffee. However, I bought a new cup and I didn't realize how small it was. Oh, Mm. and then when I poured my cream into it and I I do like a good amount of cream, but not that much. That was like I was practically (laughs) drinking cool coffee flavored cream that morning because (laughs) and I did not see the photo. That was your birthday. Very obvious. I remember because you posted it to be like, this is, it's my birthday. I'm sitting outside. You're lucky you have a nice birthday in August and you were sitting outside enjoying your coffee. And I was like, but you have a little coffee in that cream there, Erin? Because it's like so (laughs) pale. You did jump on that. You did jump on that. I'm still learning how to appropriately portion my cream in that cup. You're still learning. (laughs) You know what? I totally feel you because my husband makes better coffee for me than mm. I do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like the port, the proportion of. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a I'm a cream lover, so I I do like a lot of cream. That was excessive. I will. <laughs> <laughs> but that, I'm just saying that's why you need to drink more cups because you're not getting enough caffeine in that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so I had a friend tell me that she was heading off to the Big Apple this week for a holiday. And I was like, what? Aww. How are you lucky enough to go mm-hmm. to New York in the middle of September, which sounds like a delightful time to be there. And the kids? Does she get to go without kids? Yeah, she's going oh. sans kids. Nice. Just as a daty week to New York. Oh, nice. A week? Right? A week oh, in New York? Right? In wow. September? I hope the hurricane doesn't hit New York. The hurricane. <laughs> hurricane now? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what she gets for going in September. I know. You know what? A a friend of mine is going for work, but is going to Fredericton this week for like work. I'm like, well, look out for Fiona. (laughs) 
<laughs> just because I'm so jealous that I don't get to go interesting places and do she's, things. I'm she's like, missed what? positivity <laughs> this morning. <laughs> wow. What what is in Heather's coffee this morning? Because <laughs> I tell you, no cream. <laughs> Oh She's God. got it black and straight up. It's true. I, well, no, I have a very tiny splash of almond milk in there, but I don't even know why I bother because it really is black coffee. Okay. Maybe you need some more sugar in there, Heather. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I'm not very sweet. You know this about me. I'm not sweet. Oh, boy. Okay. So then because she called it the Big Apple, I was like, wow, why is New York called the Big Apple? Does anyone know why? I do so, not. As I started no. looking through this, did you know it has not only been referred to as the Big Apple, but back in 1673, when the Dutch captured New York from the English, it was renamed New Orange. Oh. oh. And this was in honor of the ruler, and his name was William the Third of Orange. William the Third? William the <laughs> third you can't give someone numbers after their name without saying it in a slightly right. nose true. up way right mm -hmm. so this name of new orange only lasted a year and then it went back to being new york new although orange. i have a feeling it may have been new amsterdam at that point mm. so i don't know i didn't uh what didn't... came first yeah exactly. i believe it was called new amsterdam originally these people were not very inventive like no. why do you have to name it new whatever like like, there is an Amsterdam. We don't need new Amsterdam or New York or new whatever. Like, give it its own name. How about? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, you're, you're cracking, cracking me up to bitterness. Like, yeah. like, like, you're not very creative. Okay. <laughs> so back to the apple I'll here. just stay quiet now. <laughs> no, this is great. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. Keep drinking your bitter coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so uh, why is New York called the Big Apple? Did you know that New York State is the second highest uh, apple grower in the United States? Oh. That's not why, though. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is not because of that. Second to Washington, there was this dude named John Fitzgerald and he was a horse racing journalist and he was he wrote a lot of horse racing articles mm -hmm. and he overheard stable hands in New Orleans calling New York the Big Apple and this was back in the early 1900s oh okay. so it was not referred to as the Big Apple until oh. this is one of the first in I think it's 1902 Two, he wrote an article about this horse racing and called New York the Big Apple because he had heard some stable hands in New Orleans saying this. This wasn't really picked up for very long. It kind of hung around for a little while. Right. And in 1938, a man named Cab Calloway in Harlem, New York, published a Hepster Dictionary. Hepster. Hepster Dictionary. Okay. And so this was also known as the Book of Black Slang. Uh -huh. And that's the first place that we find the word apple listed as a noun and it was uh the big town or main stem of a city okay and so this was a slang that was um used by african americans and so mm. it was picked up by other people and then became popularized in the 1900s i like it i'm gonna say i'm gonna i'm going to i'm going to the apple tonight to have some food yeah so it didn't really catch on then but then it came back into use in the 70s mm -hmm. as a marketing um campaign to try and improve the image of new york city because there was a whole bunch of crime and unsavory things happening at that time and so they they decided to resurrect this big apple idea and start putting it on logos and promotional stuff for the city and it's stuck since then mm -hmm. but it has nothing to do with apple growing <laughs> it is simply a slang word for city and so this came from the african-american population ah okay and some okay. white guy picked it up and started using sense. it okay okay and so when i was digging and researching this a lot of the information is about this john fitzgerald but then as right. i dug further i found this book by cab calloway his book of black slangs so that there were translations from the population right. in Harlem. Now we have urban dictionary. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the first urban dictionary. There mm -hmm. you go. Hmm. That's cool. Nice story. Are you cooking okay. something with apples? Cause it's no, apple season. No, no, but, oh. but 
Um, it's funny that you guys talked about coffee. Well, we always talk about coffee because we're a dick well, unique of us. Yeah. <laughs> Today was a little extra with coffee. Uh-huh. Over the summer, I've been getting my food inspirations from TikTok. And I've mm-hmm. tried a few TikTok recipes. I haven't been wowed with them. But the nice thing about these TikTok recipes is they're so simple and basic that you can add your, I guess, your zhuzh to the recipe, right? Mm -hmm. And make it happen. And it's kind of inspirational because it's quick. It makes it look like it's a quick, simple meal. And you need those meals all throughout your life, right? So I came across these two things that I really want to make. And I thought I would wait for a podcast episode to get started. First thing I'm making, and this is for breakfast or for brunch. Ooh, good. So it's really... I don't know, breakfast and brunch recipes are always, Mm. I don't know, comforting, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm making something called Dalgona coffee. Have you heard of this? No. So when I first heard about this coffee, I thought, I was thinking Italian or something like this. And what it is, is it's instant coffee powder, sugar, and hot water, and you whip it into a cream and you put it over whatever you drink. So like almond milk or cream or milk or, you know, in Erin's case, a lot of cream. How how much cream am I allowed to put? (laughs) (laughs) Okay. And I'm a little surprised that those ingredients together would. Yes. That's what I thought. That would whip up. Yeah. Oh, it says hand beaten. So Sarah's going to no, get no, a no, whisk no. out and just no, no, no. give her. No, 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 no. We read that. Did we not, Heather? We read not, it. We read it. I am not hand beating anything. What is this? What am I, Aaron? No. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and so then I thought it was Italian, but there's an Asian um, history behind this. And I guess mm. it was made by some ch- Chinese guy, I think in China, or was it in Hong Kong? And he wanted to make it popular, but it wasn't really t- having any momentum until mm. this very famous actor. I'm sure you guys know Chow Yan Fat, you know, the guy from um, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think he drank it and then, and then it was like he said something about it and then it kind of took off. And then why it's called Delgona is it's because there's a kind of a Korean honeycomb toffee sweet treat that looks like this oh i thought you were gonna make it for us no i was all excited about i know honey look you told me i need more sugar and we know heather needs the sugar (laughs) but then i am making something for you guys to go with it Mm. also from tiktok and it's called pesto eggs and it's really again simple eggs cooked with pesto Mm. and you put it on sourdough bread oh yummy and doesn't that sound like perfect Wait, together? What kind of pesto have you decided? No, not yet. Oh. So these are the things that I am going to research and figure out. And then I'm also going to put my own spin into the coffee. But I'm not going to tell you yet what it's all about. You're going to have to wait for the second part of this episode. I can't wait to see the little videos of whipping this. Because mm-hmm. I, I'm just a bit fascinated yes. by how that is going to turn into whipped Something yeah. or other, right? When I when I first read it, I'm like, no, there has to be cream in this yeah, or something. Or something, mm-hmm. coconut but milk no. or something. No. Apparently mm-hmm. it's supposed to work. So let's see. Wow. Mm. Cool. I'm glad you're doing this. This is different than what we've done. We haven't done a coffee drink or no, mm. I'm really curious about this. Mm-hmm. So and does is this it mean chill? we get to just show up yeah. for breakfast in the morning? It might be. But <gasps> I was like I was actually <laughs> thinking over the weekend having a nice brunch I, I think these things i could make it in the middle of the week or for brunch it seems that it's going to be quick and easy and tiktok tiktok says you so. know tiktok edits their videos right it's not going to take 20 seconds no, they don't. <laughs> what do you mean tiktok edits it for you no tiktokers oh Is that the no, word? they don't it's all real oh okay all real <laughs> excellent hey it's not quite tiktok but i'm just i'm just gonna put it out there that to thank all the people who've been liking our um you our little videos on youtube our mm-hmm. videos on instagram yes. 
We've, I think we have like four of them or something, but they're getting lots of traction and it's yes. nice to see that people like those. And so I just want to thank all you people up there who are liking There's those real videos. There's people out there on the other <laughs> side of the Yeah, sky. we get so little interaction, really. I mean, we get the, yeah. a few comments here and there on Facebook or Instagram, but those seem to be kind of popular and it's nice to yeah. see. Welcome to Super Typical Mega Bank. How can we disappoint you today? Hi, I'd like to open an account. May I pressure you into considering a pro disadvantage, high regret, impersonal, everyday inconvenience savings plan with added compounded confusion at no additional discount or apology? It's one of our top disappointers. I feel so... Disappointed? Yeah. Another unsatisfied customer. Next! If your bank makes you feel like this, it's time you talk to us. Connect First Credit Union. Bank on a brighter future. Breakfast was served, ladies. How did you enjoy your fancy breakfast? So good. I love this breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know more about this. It was a TikTok mm. breakfast, so it was a quick breakfast to <gasps> make. And quick to eat because it was so delicious. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> it did not last long. Nope. I'm going to start off with the coffee, the Delgona coffee, which was two tablespoons of instant coffee and you mix it with sugar. I only put one tablespoon of sugar in this because I was going to add some Baileys at the end to this. So I didn't want it to be too sweet. Um, and then two tablespoons of boiling water. And I could not find um, pumpkin spice Baileys. So I put some pumpkin spices into it. Oh, oh fun. So you can put whatever spice you want into it. You take a hand mixer, do this with a hand mixer, and whisk it up until it becomes frothy and it looks like... Creamy. Like cream. Yeah, creamy. It looks like mousse. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay, so hang on. This was two tablespoons of coffee and two tablespoons of water. Yeah. And it made three drinks? Yeah. Like that it it, used it all- really... Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, it really expands, I guess. Yeah. Wow. No kidding. And you can make more, apparently, and it keeps for a few days in the fridge. Oh. Ooh. And then I just put this over milk of your choice. It can be cold milk or it could be hot milk. So we oh, used yeah. almond milk and I just put it over and then I put a big amount of Baileys <laughs> on, top amount, of, what amount? on top of how much did you measure it? Oh, you just a good pour. A glug glug. That's, okay. that's really up to you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you don't have to use Baileys. You can use whatever flavoring you want in your coffee, right? Mm-hmm. If you want to give this to the kids, you could use decaf. Mm. and make it all like a special kind of drink and like it, it you could go crazy it's really amazing how that froths up like that yeah I'm, yeah I'm i so thought there must have been something this. else in there to make it yeah. like that yeah but you want to mix this in quite a bit what i found was nice was that putting it into mason jars with the lid on top yeah and then sort of shaking it up seem to kind of have that oh that see i left i put my straw in oh you did okay and then i so i could kind of taste i wanted to know what the layers right. were and then i kind of stirred it with my straw but i can see how shaking it would have been better because by the time i hit just the pure coffee foam stuff at the end i was like woo that's strong it is strong <laughs> So yeah, that's so, uh, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. So this this coffee mousse or whatever mm-hmm. is really strong, and yeah, you can taste it at that point when you make it. And if you want to add more sugar, you can. Okay. Find it too bitter, but remember, it's once it goes into the milk, it's gonna bring that bitterness down, right? Yeah. I shook my jar. Yeah. And then I opened it mm-hmm. and had a big old glug of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's when I went. There's a lot of okay. alcohol in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It was a lot. It this wasn't was, that much, okay, Aaron. A lot for Aaron. For me, yeah. anything seems to be okay. too much. Yeah, right. That's why I wondered how much, like if you actually measured it, because I'm curious. No. But I really like the ratio. Yeah. I thought the Baileys, because it's sweet, really balanced yeah. out the bitterness of the coffee. I thought yeah. that was a great addition to this. But I can see how you could maybe have too much if you're not yeah. into. Because I don't like very sweet things. So I would not, I didn't go over pour the Baileys in there. But yeah. I mean, you have to taste the Baileys, right? I mean, yeah, too, yeah. you have to taste everything. I'm going to make, yeah. the, I would like to make this and put it in my fridge sans mm. baileys for the summer to yeah me, this is like the perfect iced coffee to go that mm. like with the mason jar set up and everything yeah. like talk about grab and go and 
not just summer all year yeah <laughs> i thought it was great yeah like think of it like after lunch mm -hmm. as your little kind of pick me up oh mm -hmm. i think that was so delicious and i'd like to try it with hot like a warm milk yes yeah that would be fun to do too. i think that would be fun to do and i just think that this is such like it, it was so quick it yeah. happened so quick that can you imagine someone coming over for brunch or and, oh. and you serve this up without telling them what it is first and you're like what <sighs> This is like the fanciest coffee I've ever had. Yeah. Like forget an espresso. I just want to <laughs> try this out to see yeah. this frothy foamyness. It I takes no time. Crazy. And it is instant coffee, so you right? You can't do it by hand. <laughs> I mean, you can find out, Erin. <laughs> I'm certainly not trying. <laughs> I don't have a hand blender. What I would I don't. do? You think you could use an immersion blender? Yeah, my ninja Try thing. It. Would that work? Try it. That might work. I think that'll okay. be. I'll report back. <laughs> that sounds great. So good. fancy, like five minute coffee, basically. Mm -hmm. Here's like a ten minute recipe to have something to eat with that coffee. I can't wait to hear about this. Like Can seriously, you just one today. My mouth Can is you watering. Just whip it up. Yeah, and mm -hmm. bring it over after recording. So think about this for two people. Okay. And then you can just increase the amount. Or maybe I'll just make it all for myself. For myself. Because yeah. <laughs> I loved it so much. Okay. You go to the store, you get your eggs, you get a really nice pesto that you love, right? You get some really nice sourdough bread. I feel like don't sting on this. I get some okay. nice bread. And mm -hmm. then get some goat's cheese or feta cheese or whatever you like. I used feta in this. In a pan, you put some olive oil in. You... Uh, Put some pesto, so two tablespoons of pesto, and then you kind of spread it around the pan on, I would say, like a low, medium heat. Okay. Just to kind of warm up the pesto and loosen mm -hmm. it up. Mm -hmm. And then you crack your eggs on top of it. You increase the heat to about medium, and you cover the pan with a lid. Okay. And when the eggs, the yolk starts to get kind of cloudy is when you know it's done. So then it'll still be runny, but the white part will be cooked by then. And the, the yolk will be firm enough to kind of hold its shape until you cut into it. Right. And then you just take that with all the pesto and you put it onto your bread, which you could toast up and sop up all the extra pesto in the pan with. Mm. Uh, put the egg on top. I put some black pepper and uh, red chili flakes and some feta cheese on it that's it 10 minutes so easy and oh my god it was so good. oh my god it was so good <laughs> <laughs> that egg like i am a runny egg mm -hmm. that is that was the perfectly cooked egg and that's the thing that i wanted to know the most was yeah. your method for cooking that egg because mm -hmm. it was just to die for yeah good, good and i like that the you put the pesto in the pan and the egg like i just assumed you sort of spread the pesto on the bread cook your egg and put your egg on like it, it didn't really occur to me yeah. that you do the pesto in the pan yeah I in like, the pan i like that yeah. i think it mm -hmm. kind of makes everything kind of stick together and yeah mm -hmm. yeah then it's like right in the egg all those flavors yeah. are like yeah mm. Cooked yeah. in. Mm -hmm. I have a jar of garlic scapes that I chopped up really fine and mm -hmm. froze mm -hmm. a couple months ago. And when I tasted this egg, I said, Oh my God, I'm making my skate pesto and I'm making this. Yes. Nice. I have some in my freezer too. I Ooh. should really. Thanks yeah. for that reminder. I will link that recipe to yours then. Yeah, everybody go to the blog. You can also get the pesto recipe. Yeah. But any kind of pesto. And I kind of like that you bought the pesto. I was going to give you the gears for not making your own because that's just what we do around here. Yeah. But um, <laughs> but I kind of like that because it's store bought. It does commit <laughs> to it pesto. being, it's like really a quick, yeah. you know, Saturday morning but you kind of want something a little fancy. Yeah. You don't have to make your own. You can totally just buy it. And I bet mm -hmm. you some dried tomato pesto would also be really mm -hmm. delicious. Totally. Oh, yeah. I would have loved an element of tomato on this. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you could just add a slice of tomato and on that's there. That's what yeah. I was. And you know what? I would have almost fried up that tomato and put it oh, on yeah. too. Totally. Instead of having like just a raw slice of tomato, right? Yeah, that would be good. Mm -hmm. With like extra cracked pepper on there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So good. Everybody go yeah. make this because yeah. you will not no. regret it. So tasty. And I left it with the coffee. You won't spend a lot of time cooking and you won't spend a lot of time cleaning up after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
What did your kids think of the pesto? Everybody thing? loved the eggs. My husband, not so much with the coffee because he's oh. a hot coffee, like mm. snob a little bit with it. And he doesn't put um, milk in his coffee. He likes his coffee So it was black, too milky right? maybe. So it was mm. too, it was too like, oh, he, he actually, I said, I'm making breakfast and I'm making coffee today. And then as soon as I gave that to him, he went and made a pot of coffee. <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, that's great. I <laughs> think he's coffee. missing out. I think he's missing out. But that's funny. More for you. Yes. <laughs> well, I know because we drink excess amounts of cream in our coffee, we mm-hmm. will really enjoy this in my house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I can't wait to make this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this is nice because if you don't like cream or milk, you don't have to put that in. But if you yeah. do, go crazy, right? Thank you. I love this so much. Breakfast <laughs> actually is one of my, like brunch, one of my favorite uh, meals. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially if you have time to linger over it, right? You can yes. just hang out, have coffee refill, yeah. chit chat. Mm-hmm. I love going yeah. out for brunch. I know? love going out for Something brunch. like this. So mm-hmm. yeah. I was delighted. I need to put instant coffee on my shopping list. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's something I never buy, list. right? No, it's something I never buy too. But um, just so quick. I can't believe how quick this was. And, you know, I'm not a breakfast maker. That's my husband. So, like, it had to be quick. Otherwise, it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> and, you know, normally I'm not a savory breakfast person. I'm all right. about the sweet. I like the oh. waffle. I like the syrup. I like the yeah, pancakes. Yeah. I like the whipped yep. cream. Mm-hmm. No, this this has changed my view on breakfast forever. Good, good, good. Yeah. Thank you, Sarah. Very welcome. (laughs) And now for the fine print. Join us over on the socials, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest, and on our website at threekitchenspodcast.com. And remember, when you like, follow, subscribe, and review, it helps more people find us. Thank you so much for listening. There's a lot of alcohol in here. (laughs) It wasn't that much, Erin. A lot for Erin.